Hello, today is Sunday the 21st of May and we have a quite unusual niche busting new Peugeot 408. So if you look at the Peugeot 408, uh, you might think it's rather like a Volkswagen Arteon. It's described on its vehicle documentation as an SUV, but I don't think it's really an SUV. It's got a lot going on looks wise. Um, some of it I think works, some of it I'm not too sure. Uh, some people even think it looks a bit like a Lamborghini Urus. Certainly from the side, uh, there are quite a few contrasting lines going on here. We've got the big 20 inch alloys. I think they work really well on the car. And Sam's just showing what the alloys look like. And I'm gonna show you, first of all, walking around the back of the car. Now we'll see if we get the technology to work. I'm gonna try and open up the boot, showing this feature. And finally it did it, <laughs> better late than ever. But that's what they do. So the boot is there, you've got 470 litre boot. Being the hybrid model, you've got some battery under the boot as well. So the boot is charging cables there. 470 litres on this, it's pretty good, not bad. And 560 on the non-hybrid one. Let's walk around it again. Coming down the side again, you see all these quite dramatic cut lines. And I'm gonna show you the back seat. Now, loads and loads of legroom in the back seat. Because of the coupe looks of the car, rear headroom is not the best, and it's quite dark back there, but it's all very good quality. I think I'd spend another 900 pounds specifying the panoramic roof if it was me getting this car. And we go around to the front, and really good quality materials. You've got that trademark small, Peugeot steering wheel, which makes the car feel sporty. It works for me, I'm about 5'9", 5'10", I'm average height, and it works well for me, but like with any Peugeot, you've got to really try the car to see if that small steering wheel and the Peugeot I cockpit works for you. Let's just come around the front, tell you a bit more about the car. So this one is 44,000 pounds. It's a 1.6 petrol hybrid, puts out 225 horsepower, naught to 60 is about 7.8, so, Quickish, I think it's got enough power, not super quick, and the range is officially between 37 and 40 miles of range on electric power alone. I think in the real world you're probably going to see 25 to 30 miles of range. That's the outside, I think we should take it for a spin. So I'm just going to talk about the uh, how all the, uh, the cockpit of the car is, what's it like inside? Well, it's this typical Peugeot small steering wheel which I really like actually, but you need to get used to it. Uh, being average height, I can see over the steering wheel fine, and you've got what they call the eye cockpit. So I've got a split level dash here. So I've got my controls here, all clear, and then I come into the infotainment system. Annoyingly, I've got used to it, but again, everything for the air conditioning runs through here, which is a bit fiddly. I'd much rather have a traditional knob dial, but once you get used to it, it's pretty good. I think there are better systems out here than, than this one, but you get used to it fast enough. Apple CarPlay, that all works fine. In reality, you're just gonna jump everything through Apple CarPlay. Um, underneath, you've got your wireless charging pad there. This is the GT line model. This is the top of the range. So you've got the wireless there. Uh, you've got the USB cable here. Cup holders go here. Uh, more storage here. I've got more storage there as well, again with some USB ports there. So it's a very practical car inside and I actually think the, the finish, the fit and finish, the materials are all really good. So that's the front of the car. I've got a drive mode here, let's take it for a drive. And it drives, it drives nicely. It is £44,000 so it is the same sort of ballpark figure as a BMW 330e and it's not as dynamic to drive as that but it's a different sort of car it's uh, at the moment you can hear it's very quiet we're just pooping out of Cheltenham race course and we're in electric mode and as I say you'll get about 25 30 miles of range on electric mode alone um, yeah it's a nice car to drive around into you a lot of people would have this sort of car as a company car i think it's something different they've been bold with it and i think it works pretty well um 
the ride is pretty smooth on the car. You don't get much feedback through the steering, but it goes along pretty well. It weighs 1,700 kilos and it does 0 to 16, 7.8. So yeah, it, it'll shift along well, but if driving and performance is your priority, you might want to look elsewhere. I, I think it's a nicely balanced car, but for 44,000, it is quite a lot of money, but I can see People might not be able to look past the Persia badge for that sort of money, but I, I think they've done a really good effort with this car. I'd say I'd give it about 7 out of 10. I need to spend more time with it, but thanks very much, George, at Warner's Persia of Gloucester for a few hours with this car. Just taking it back now. Au revoir.